Hey guys, it's Marcus. Welcome or welcome back to Coding with Marcus. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple money clicker game in Scratch with a shop. And maybe we'll add some game modes. I don't know. But the first thing you want to do is name your project money clicker or whatever you want it to be named. And first, you want to delete Scratch Cat. And you want to paint a circle, so make the fill yellow, fill yellow, and make the outline black. Hold shift and then hold down to have a perfect circle. We're going to put this a little up, Much just like that. All right. Then you want to go to text, you want to make it darker, and put a money symbol there, make it bigger, and put it over here. Then you want to center this over here into the middle, and um, what you want to do is go to events, grab a one flat click. Go to looks, show, motion, go to zero, zero, that's the middle, or wherever you want it to be. And then one more thing, go back to looks and grab a go to front layer. So now when I click the green flag, it puts it to the middle, but it doesn't run the whole thing. It only runs this part. So... We're going to grab another one, green flag clicked, and put a forever. So now, as you can see, the green flag is still going. The project is still going because of this forever loop. But anyways, for now, we are going to um, delete that. And we're going to put a when this sprite clicked. But before we do that, we need to make a variable called money over here, money for all sprites and click OK. We can show that for now. Set money to zero in the beginning and change money by one. And what you want to do, another thing is um, go to the backdrops and go to the square make a blue or whatever color you want it i'm gonna make a kind of cyan and then make a nice square just like that for the background so now if we run this you still can't do it so that's why we actually need that forever loop. So grab a forever loop just like that. Now when we click it, you can see the money goes up. And let's make our shop here. So we're going to paint a new sprite. You're going to want to make the fill we can do no fill and then the outline black put the outline to 10 and then you want to make a rectangle shape then go to text and um write shop 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 like that sorry for the background noise those are my brothers and then you want to um, not that. I'm going to put this shop over here up top. So, one green flag clicked. Show. And then go to here. And then we're going to do a when this right clicked when this sprite clicked broadcast you want to broadcast um open shop 
open shop and then go here when I receive open shop then hide and then hide and then you want to make another costume so duplicate this um delete the whole page and make a big rectangle so put this to 10 again and then you want to make a nice big rectangle like that just like that so you want to do switch costume to costume 2 and then when green flag clicked switch costume to costume 1 and go to front layer so now if we click this money you get money if you click the shop it does not oh yeah we also need to move this over here so um go to 5 and then 27 for the y so now this should work you click it you click the shop shop come on all right there we go so one thing i want to do to that is to make the fill a white color i mean not a white color yeah a white color so that um this and then actually i need to fill the outside just like that so now let's try this out we have the shop the money we click the shop and i want to do one more thing when key when key space space press then broadcast close shop close shop and switch costume back to costume one and now let's try this out click shop press space and then we still need to do the go to so duplicate this go to here so now let's test this out you see we get money we click the shop and then we click space and then when i receive close shop then show and then go to zero zero go to zero zero so this should work click the shop click space that's pretty smooth and i actually want to make the fill not white i want to make the fill black i think that's better and then first i need to make the shop fill and then we're gonna do this one just like that so that looks better now we have a shop and we need to make something for our shop so let's paint something i'm gonna draw i'm gonna take some lines i'm gonna make a cursor so like that i think that'll work and then i'm gonna put some text curse cursor like that make it bigger and one more thing not one I want it to be ten okay and let's make a line ten perfect 
just like that. All right, we have a cursor, and now we're gonna move this over here. We're gonna add another text and one uh one dollar per sec, and then one more. And we're gonna put for fifteen dollars. So this is fifteen dollars, and one last thing. You want to make the fill green here, and you want to have a uh, eight, and we're gonna have a buy. So put this here. One last text. Buy like that. Gonna make this a little smaller. Just like that. Now we're gonna make all of this smaller because it's way too big. Just like that. Now we're gonna open our shop. Move this over here. So one green flag click and get two when I receives go to looks one green flag clicked hide when I receive open shop show when I receive close shop hide and we're gonna do a little more in this open shop go to here and go to front player just like that now we're gonna do when we're gonna create a variable it's gonna be called money per second and then we're gonna do set money per second money per second set money per second set money per second to zero and then when this sprite clicked if if grab an equals and an or put the equals in the first and then grab a greater than if money money equals the price which is 15 or money is bigger than 15 then broadcast um money per sec and then we're gonna put that into an else And then in the else, you're going to put broadcast can't buy. And then money per sec. One art. And then um, go to here. We're going to name this cash. And then when I receive when I receive money per sec change money by money per sec and then set money per sec to one and then change yep. So now let's test this out. Let's get 15. Actually, let's get 10. So it doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah. And change money by negative 15. So now 
as you can see it doesn't change the money so now let's get however many this is and now sick and then for oh yeah put that in a forever loop and then wait one second so now let's test that out we got 20 we'll buy this so now as you can see it goes up by one every time and you can add more things to it um comment if you want a part two where i add more things to the shop but for now this is it one more thing here while that runs go over here and then um text press space to exit press space to exit put that over there perfecto all right so let's test that out again like that and now the money goes up I'm gonna try to get exactly 15 so you guys can see how the money goes up all right now I'm gonna get another 15 and then it's gonna go up by two so now it goes up oh no instead of the set do change change money per second by one by one so let's test that out one last time go to our shop all right you can see the money goes up and you want to buy it now it goes up by two and goes up by three so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new and comment some more ideas that you want for me to teach you guys how to do and yeah okay i'll see y'all in my next video peace